Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my latest air cooler design. This is the fourth one that I've made and one thing that I've learned in making these is that the best way to get really cold air is to get under the ice. If you can find a way to get under the ice, it's going to make your air much colder. This design has an electric motor that runs off of 120 volts. Now, if you want a 12 volt, all you got to do is get a 12 volt motor. And I'm going to put the links in the description for both the 12 volt motor and the 120 volt motor. And all you got to do is just pick which one you want to use. Or you can use one of my other cooler designs. I'm going to put a link also to all four of the coolers that I have built. Now, one question I get a lot is people want to know how loud the motor is. So I'm going to plug this one in and show you. That's about two foot away there. So all in all, it's a pretty quiet motor. It's not as loud as some of the others that I've used. Now I'm not gonna go through the trouble of showing you the temperature because what I've also learned in making these different coolers is that they all fluctuate anywhere from 30 to 50 degrees. And that's plenty of cool air because these things are designed to cool the air in front of you. You wanna point them directly at you. They're not designed to cool an entire room. It's just not gonna happen. Unless it's you know maybe a small closet or maybe a, some, some really small room like that, it might cool that room down. But uh, it does provide really cold air blowing directly on you if you're in a, a specific workspace. Also remember that if you're wanting to buy the parts to make your own cooler, I'm gonna have links in the description below for everything that I use to build this. So let me go ahead and show you how I built this one. The items you're gonna need for this project are of course the cooler, the motor, and the four inch elbow that comes out of the motor and goes into the cooler. You're going to need four inch PVC pipe. You're going to need a shower drain and a four inch PVC elbow, as well as an adjustable aluminum duct. Now, all of these items you can get on Amazon and I've got the link to the Amazon um, items in the description below. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is the PVC and the aluminum duct, you could probably get a little bit cheaper at Home Depot. Uh, but if you want to fool with that, you can just order it on Amazon. However, you definitely need to get the cooler the motor and the black elbow from the Amazon link below. So first you need to get an idea of where the elbow is going to go out of the cooler and get that lined up on your aluminum duct and then mark that. Then you're going to take your inner pipe since the elbow is not actually going through the duct, the inner pipe is going to go through the duct. So then you mark your inner pipe and that's where you're going to drill your holes to be able to cut out the hole for that pipe. Now you can cut this aluminum duct with tin snips. However, it's a lot easier if you have one of these little cutting tools that connect to your drill. And all you have to do is put it in the hole that you drilled and then you just follow the line around with it. It's so much easier. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get one of these tools because if you ever use any if you ever do any kind of crafts or any kind of projects where you're working with sheet metal, this little tool will make your life so much easier. Next, you want to measure how far your inner pipe is going to go down into the aluminum duct because it's going to touch the bottom. And once you've measured that, you're going to cut that pipe and then you basically are going to cut some grooves out of it so that you can get plenty of airflow coming up through the pipe. So you want to dry fit your pipe into the duct and then you want to mark where you need to trim back the aluminum duct so that it will fit down inside of the cooler. Then you're going to use tin snips to cut that part of the aluminum duct back and fold it in like you're folding a box and uh, then you're going to use screws to attach it. Once you have your aluminum duct folded back and screwed in the way that you want it, you're going to need to caulk everything together. And the idea is to make this completely waterproof. So after you've added your pipes to the aluminum duct and you've sealed everything really good with caulk, you've let it dry for 24 hours, 
The next thing you want to do is you want to test it to be sure it's waterproof. So you put a little bit of water inside of your cooler and then you submerge your uh, aluminum duct down in there and you can see down into the pipe to see if you're going to get any water leaking in. And as you can see here, I had a little bit of water leaking into the corner. So all you have to do is just whenever you find where you have some water coming in, it's just apply more caulk on the outside. The only thing is you're going to have to wait another 24 hours for it to dry. So once you place your aluminum duct into the cooler, you're gonna to have to add a metal strapping or some kind of strapping across the top of that pipe to hold it down. Because otherwise, as your ice melts and water gets in there, it's gonna cause that vent to float up. And you don't want that, you wanna keep it submerged. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the black elbow that comes out of the top of the cooler and goes into the motor, that pipe is at the opposite end of where the pipe coming up, bringing fresh air in is. That way, water circulates in through the PVC elbow, goes underneath the ice, comes out of the top of the white PVC, then it goes across the top of the ice back to the other side of the cooler and goes up through the black elbow and out through the motor and it makes really cold air that's all there is to it i hope you guys like this video and uh, like this project and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below